Hey guys, this is Scott from Church Tech Talks. Hey, so uh, I'm gonna do a little bit different video today. I'm just using my iPhone. Um, I've had a lot of you guys asking me about uh, light key and how to do multiple universes. And I had a video that was almost edited, ready to go up, um, really nice looking one. And my son spilled a giant cup of water all over my MacBook Pro and it is now ruined. So I'm going to the Apple Store tomorrow to get that looked at. But in the meantime, I thought I'd just do kind of low quality video just to uh, get this up as soon as possible. Um, this is coming later than I wanted anyways. Uh, I have been on paternity leave. We welcomed a new kid to the family. So that's super exciting, but um, wanted to just get this up for you guys real quick. So I'm just gonna tell you real quick how we're doing this. So I'm literally just gonna turn you around. This is how high quality production this is. Oh, I should turn the mic around so you can hear me while I'm talking. Hold on. I'm using a uh, Sure MV88 Plus. Uh, compliments of Brian over at Sure. This thing's actually pretty sweet. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, here's Light Key. Uh, we have, if you look in the preferences here, uh, let me find it. Right there. Um, you can see we have two universes set up and we're doing ArtNet for both of these universes here. So um, the way we're able to do this with what we are using, which is this box right here, the EDMX2 Pro, um, is uh, a little bit confusing because uh, if you look over on LightKey's Help Center, and scroll down here to the bottom where it says DMX output through ArtNet uh, does not work. Um, and the reason is right here. Some interfaces, uh, example DMX King, EDMX, use universe numbers which are offset by one from light keys. So when you're using this box and you're outputting uh, to DMX channel one, you think that's DMX one, it's actually outputting that on ArtNet number zero. Um, and so it'll never see this. So, and I also think when you first get this box, it actually is is mirroring uh, your output. So what you need to do is download EDMX configuration, which you can get just on the downloads page right here. They have it for uh, Mac and for PC. Um, but if you're using LightKey, you're probably using Mac because I'm pretty sure they don't make the PC version. So uh, if we just open up EDMX config here, um, you will see your our Ultra DMX2 Pro comes up right there. Um, we have the IP address, it's on. Um, and then port A is just that first port right there. Port B is that second port. Um, and you can't see it right now because we need to connect. So we're just gonna up in the top, click special and then settings broadcast. Once you do that, now we're gonna actually be able to see what's happening on port, one, or port A and port B and uh, we can change it. So as you can see, port A we have as universe two, which is showing the ArtNet port address is one. Uh, if I change that to one, then it's going to go to zero here. Um, that's a problem. Uh, so change that to two, click apply, and then on port B, make that three, and that's going to become address two. If you have multiple of these hooked up, um, you can uh, you can do you know four, five, six to get uh, as many universes as you want. Although I think LightKey only supports six. Um, so you can get six universes, which is a ton. It's a lot of lights. So uh, anyways, that's how we're doing it. That's how we're getting two universes on light key. Um, and my phone's about to die. I am just all kinds of put together. So there you go. There's the light key video.